Hey guys, this is the Prince of Mastodon, and I'm doing a commentary video for Rome Total War multiplayer. This is a Seleucid vs. Rome battle. I'm in command of the Seleucids, and my opponent is Johnny, in command of the uh, Romans. The Julii Romans in red. Alright, I'm setting up my army first. As you can see, this is being played on the uh, normal scale. A scale I don't really like, just because it looks very, uh, very low budget. Anyways, my army, you can see it. On the unit roster list, I have uh, six units of Phalanx Pikemen, two units of Companion Cavalry, and two more units of the Greek Cavalry. Then I have some extra units. I got two units of Archers and two units of Peltist. And this is one of my fun armies that I've used for a very long time. And um, I'm gonna use my um, I'm gonna put my Phalanx in the center there. I'm gonna distribute my cavalry evenly on both wings. And I'm going to put the um, the support units on the wings as well. All right, I'm going to move forward here, and we're going to look at my opponent's army. And here's Johnny. He has four units of urban cohorts. He's got one unit of Roman archers and six units of archer auxilia. And the very back, well, in the back ranks, he has three units of triarii. And then in the very, very back, he has two squadrons of Praetorian cavalry. Get some pretty good upgrades on those. So looking at his army, it's gonna be very, um, very defensive in nature. All those archers are gonna keep my, keep my archers at bay. And he has so many of them, and that's the, uh, the way a lot of uh, low budget players play. Lots of archers. And um, he only has uh, two Praetorian cavalry, but individually, like one on one, they're way better than my cavalry. And that's a, an edge that the Romans have over the Macedonians and Seleucids, except for when the Seleucid player brings uh, cataphracts. In which case, the cataphracts will own the Praetorian Cavalry. But I didn't bring cataphracts, I brought companions of Greek Cavalry. Alright, my opponent's bringing his archers forward here. I'm gonna keep moving forward. So with the uh, opponent's Triarii in the back, he is going to uh, nullify my, my Cavalry. But against Against me, because I'm using a Macedonian style Seleucid army, it's gonna be kind of overkill. But he was probably expecting cataphracts, which I don't which I'm not using. Alright, so if I'm not careful, he's gonna uh, completely obliterate my cover. And he's got the uh, the manpower with the urbans to uh, to keep my, my phalanx at bay as well. Alright, I'm going to advance really fast here, just confuse my opponent. And I'll be using Micro here. Like, everyone uses Micro, but I rely on it. Got my Peltus coming up here to trade fire with the, um, his Archer Exilia. And I'm going in for a strike down with my Greek Cavalry into his uh, Roman Archers. I'm keeping an eye out on his uh, Praetorian Cavalry, and you can see them moving now. And I'm going to run my Greek Cavalry out of there. And because his Praetorians are still locked onto my Greek Cavalry, they're going to pursue my dudes even as I run away. So I'm bringing up my Phalanx Pikemen. I'm going to put them into Phalanx Formation at the last second, and that's going to impale his horses. Um, I can't stop to smell that victory just because there's a battle still going on, so I'm going to keep maneuvering my troops and keep up this pressure. I want to capitalize on my opponent's mistake there. Okay, I'm going to start spreading my cavalry around. I'm going to complicate my opponent's firing system. At the same time, I've got my Peltus coming forward here. And here, you gotta look at every part of the battlefield now. Like, I struck with my um, Greek cavalry, but I'm keeping an eye out on his Praetorian cavalry. He has one left. Well, he had two, but um, one stopped routing, but I paid attention and I routed them again. But I gotta keep atten I gotta keep paying attention to his other Praetorian cavalry. But if he strikes at my companions and I don't notice it, my guys are gonna die. So you have to keep uh, keep maintaining your army here. It's very fragile. All right, I'm bringing up my phalanx, and at the same time, I'm I'm shifting my cavalry around. Yeah, this is a very uh, finesse style kind of army. You got to use a lot of uh, control in order to uh, make it work. And um, my opponent's striking at my peltus there with the praetorians. And I'm going to start the infantry fight. At the same time, I'm going to bring in my Greek cavalry. And I'm going to bring in my companion cavalry. I'm going to swing my camera around. 
and I'm gonna bring in the rest of my covering. So, um, if you want to play like me, basically just keep moving your camera around, and keep, keep looking for opportunities here, and don't neglect anything. So there, I saw him uh, shifting his archer fire towards my recovery on the left flank there, so I ran my, my recovery away. Now I'm striking in with my companions in the back. And I'm also bringing up my Greek cavalry, and I'm gonna bring in my phalanx in the very left here. That's my left wing. That's where Parmenion would have been, but Alexander had him executed. Okay, so he's still targeting my cavalry, but I'm gonna strike in with my companions, and I'm keeping an eye out on his uh, Praetorians right there. I see them moving, but he's going after my other cavalry, so I'm gonna retreat my cavalry. But I have to keep paying attention to the rest of my army. So now he's gonna strike the back of my uh, phalanx there. It's a hammer and anvil strike. So I'm going to stop retreating there with my cavalry, and I'm going to chase his cavalry. Now I'm going to uh, start an encirclement on his uh, on his main army there. See, I'm bringing up my my piking on the very left. You can't see it, it's out of screen right now. But I'm going to launch a hammer and anvil strike right there. I'm going to retreat my dudes. And on the left side of the screen, you can see my pikemen coming into view. So he still has archers in the back. I'm just going to kind of ignore them right now. And I'm going to bring up whatever remaining cavalry I do have, and start attacking like crazy. Now I've got his infantry in a vice here, I got them completely surrounded, and I'm using all my cavalry now to strike at his archers, because he still has quite a few left. Some of them stopped routing. So I'm taking all my cavalry out of there, and I'm going to tighten the grip on his uh, infantry. So you can see me squeeze it in. And I'm gonna bring in the rest of my um, my support units to um, to support my phalanx at close range. Right, I see his tri triarii. He's trying to uh, break out of that encirclement, so I'm gonna bring back my cavalry, and I'm going to uh, charge into their flanks. So this is the uh, climactic part of the battle here. And there's a charge right into his triarii. And um, this battle's pretty much over. He has one archer unit in the back there, but um, I can deal with him later. I just want to make sure these guys start routing. Because in a situation like this, it's not always assured what's going to happen, but in this case, it went in my favor. But sometimes those Romans, they can outfight that kind of encirclement. But luckily they didn't. The enemy so my opponent admitted defeat, this is a so I did not have to chase after his archers in the back. General. So I'm going to surround his dudes and just keep crushing them. That was a heroic victory for me. And I'm going to save my replay. That was Battle of 1460. You can see right there, there's a non-Prince of Mass on replay right there. That was sent by um, NH Hunter, a.k.a. Um, C-37. That's a guy I played in one of my uh, YouTube videos. But um, he beat King Artex. And um, he just wanted to show me that. Anyways, good game to my opponent, Johnny.